Welcome back to Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles for the PS3. In our last video, we saw the intro to the video and saw the opening cutscene and saw the prologue. So, what we're gonna do now, let's get ready to play Valkyria Chronicles. Alright, I'm gonna try to explain the combat thing as best as I can, so... Here we go. Right now, the opening scene and we're just getting under attack. Alright, the plan. What is it, Alicia? Alright, we've got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Bruo. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our objective here is to eliminate all the enemies. It's my this looks like a war map, but this is Valkyria Chronicles and the plot is war th though. Let us take care of them one at a time, nice and easy. Alright. Now, the your goal is listed in the victory and the objective is to defeat all enemies for this battle. The game ends if Welkin dies, 20 turns pass, or Alicia dies. And... Yeah. Let's get yeah. Started. Just stay calm also, and done. at the end of each battle, you are ranked A, B, C, or D. All right, player phase. I see three of them. All right, so we do we take out three enemies or what? That's three too many. Stay sharp. Uh, there must be more than three. About five of them at least. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. Command points. CP. When combat starts, you will see a map of the area of your unit's position, which is referred to as command mode. Here, you will select the unit you'd like to move based on their position, respective to the enemy, and then press enter. Doing so uses up one of the command points, which is the gold badges that shown up above the uh, the picture up there. They reflect your ability as a commander and represent the number of times you can give instructions to your units each player phase. In this battle, you have 3 CP, so you can issue instructions to your units up to 3 times. Alright, let's try moving a unit now. Alright, at the start of the game, you start with 3 units. The Town Watcher, Alicia, and Wilkin. And these red circles are the enemies over there. You need to eliminate all enemies, but some objectives require you to occupy or take over an enemy camp. So yeah. 
and you see these little symbols on top of these circles? I'll explain that later on in the game. So, that's basically it for now. Alright. Oh, one more thing. You see, uh, the red gold badge near your the character's picture? Those are the picture that that with the gold badge are the leaders, and the the pic picture without the gold badge is not a leader for the regular and en enemy or ally. So yeah. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, action points. Use CP to select a unit in command mode, and you'll be plunged into action mode like I just did just now. Here you can freely move the unit you selected around the field. As you move around the action mode, the action points Gauge at the bottom will automatic will gradually deplete. This represents the un unit's mobility, just like in Sakura Wars. Only this time, it you can't undo the move. Keep an eye on the unit's remaining H, AP while they are in motion to keep them safe. For now, use the left stick to move the unit near the sandbags. Okay, now, you see that yellow bar at the bottom of the screen? That, my viewers, is your AP. And since I moved one inch, the AP bar also decreased an inch. Alright. Another tutorial about attacking. Press the R1 button to enter target mode. There. Your unit will prepare an attack with their currently selected weapon. Use the left stick to move the crosshairs with the enemy, or the R1 L1 button to swap between targets. Enemies will not attack you while you are in target mode, so take your time to aim well before pressing enter to fire. Well, that's good. That's a good thing. Your shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshairs, so it is best to center it on the entire target. Shots to the head or other weak points will result in greater damage. A unit can only attack from target mode up to once per action, so choose wisely before you open fire. If the target survives your attack, they may launch a counter attack. Well, that's not good. A damaged unit may not have the HP to survive the enemy's counter, so be careful when planning your attack. Alright, let's aim. And let me explain. The two, two kill column up there where the red number is, is how many shots you need to kill the enemy. And the shots 
tells you how many bullets you have. So, let's aim for the head. Alright. Let's see. Aim for the head. Aim for the head. Aim for the head. And there we go. And... Bang! Haha, <laughs> metal fucking gear! About ending actions. A unit with zero remaining AP that has already performed an attack in target mode is unable to act further. Press cancel to end their current action. This will return you to the command mode, which is the map, where you'll be able to select the next unit you wish to direct. You can press cancel and end the unit's action even if they had not attacked and still have HP. Heh, <laughs> Alicia's well, so badass. Alright, let's crouch behind these sandbags here. And end our turn. End our turn. Also, let's see. One more enemy left, huh? Interesting. So, let's bring out Woken here. Right. Damn camera angles. Alright, about using cover. There we go. When standing near sandbags, the command crouch will appear, like I did earlier with Alicia. Press enter to take cover behind them. When hiding behind cover, units are harder to target, take less damage, and are immune to headshots and critical damage. Meanwhile, units caught out in the open by enemy attacks will be easier to hit and take more damage significantly. Advance carefully, moving from cover to cover, and always try to end your actions safely behind hidden from harm. And during doing so should keep your troops alive long enough to secure victory for Gallia. And with that I'm going to end the video here, so feel free to leave a comment, and stay tuned for next.